Good morning and welcome back to Investor Intel for a very special guest. I'm Peter Clausey. We're here with Mike Druhan from MadX Health. MadX Health sells a product and a service in an area of life that's touched us all and is important for all of us to hear this story. Welcome, Mike. Oh, welcome, Peter. MedX attacks health, uh, skin cancer. We've all been touched in some way in our lives by skin cancer. How many people around the world get skin cancer annually? Well, the WHO's sort of results are around about 140 million people are at risk of skin cancer. The numbers vary because of the registry and uh, the way the num numbers are collected, but it's a large swath of the population are susceptible to skin cancer. And I read somewhere that like 80% of all skin cancer is within two inches of the eyes. Um, interesting statistic, not aware of that one, but uh, most of it happens around the head, neck, shoulders, where you get the most amount of sun exposure. It's UVA weighted, uh, UV wave uh, related. So anything around the uh, around the eyes, around the neck, around the shoulders, head, that's where it tends to show. Right. And your area of service is you sell, I call it a box, and then you sell data services so that box can be used intelligently. What does your box do? So our system is a proper SAS model. We have an optical scanner that will take an, an, an image of a mole or a lesion that is suspicious. Our differentiators, it goes two millimeters below the skin, therefore taking a perfect view not only on the surface but below the skin. And then we have a telemedicine platform that will send that information uh, on the patient's health information along with the image to a dermatologist for a proper assessment. So you sell the box and then you sell the data services after for recurring revenue. Correct. It, the box isn't just a single use, it's a multi-use box, like an ultrasound at a clinic. Yeah, essentially it's not a one and done product. It's a repetitive product and that's where the sustainability of the business model is, is every time a scan is taken, we're making revenue from that at a much reduced price of the cost of building hardware. Is it a handheld box or is it yeah, a it's, box? It's a handheld device. So the scope itself is handheld. It just is on your hand, goes on top of the molar lesion, shuts out any ambient light coming in, takes a perfect focal image, but also goes two millimeters below the skin. And that is really important as it relates to giving additional information to a dermatologist who's not there to view the image. And this morning I was reading that you have some extremely large news to announce. Yeah, we've uh, we've just put out uh, news that we've uh, received an order from our Brazilian partners for over 500 scopes to be uh, the initial starting order in uh, in Brazil. This is the largest single order in the in the company's history, um, so it's uh, we're pretty proud of that. Brazil, what's the dollar value of that initial order? Well, I'll, I'll give you some guidelines on that. the uh, The initial hardware order is close to a million dollars on that on the revenue take from that, and then once the images are uh, starting to come on stream uh, and the devices are deployed, you know we'll get anywhere between one point six million a year. Uh, to two million a year from uh, from ongoing revenue from that. I assume you have other letters of intent, soft contracts in the works that will lead up to POs with other areas. Oh yeah, we're we're uh, we've been busy. Um, you know, the technology is being well received. The telemedicine platform is what's been uh, the newest sort of addition to the family. Uh, right. We've had the scanner for a while, but the Derm Secure platform now allows us to be scalable. And Brazil is the first order that we've received on the large scale platform. And I think that's going to show the marketplace that we're infinitely scalable uh, and there's demand for the product. So we're pretty excited about this order. Where are your units manufactured? So right now we have a uh, what they call an ISO 13485 facility right in Mississauga. And we produce and manufacture devices there. Um, however, with the scale of which we're starting to ramp to, we're starting to work with a third party manufacturer now to keep up with demand. So currently your expenses are being generated in Canadian dollars, but you're probably selling internationally in U.S. dollars. Correct. That's a nice margin in there as well. As long as everything holds the way it is, we'll be quite happy. Excellent. New story to me. This is an important story that more people should hear about. Tracy, thank you for giving everyone a chance to hear it. Mike, thank you for your time. Peter, thank you so much for your time. Maddox, have a look.